Hi everybody, I'm sitting in the cockpit of our A320 and uh, today I would like to show you a piece of equipment which you can't really see on every A320 even I think that this should be a standard and what am I talking about? I'm talking about those two pipes back there and the pipe continue left you have seen on the first officer side I'll show you a bit later uh, this is part of the foot warmer what is it good for? well during flight outside temperature can get around uh, minus 40 to minus 50 so you can imagine that in that area you can have a quite a cold air and this foot warmer as I said is not in every aircraft and today I need to test this system uh, we have uh, two options for the pilots off low and high so let's prepare the cockpit okay so first thing first we need to switch on the APU I already performed the uh, fire test so I'll just switch it on So, uh, for this test I'm gonna need uh, APU, which is at the moment uh, starting up. And of course I need a bleed system to set on. Let me quickly explain why actually I need to have air bleed. These electrical heaters are additionally installed on existing cockpit air distribution system, which is supplied from the air conditioning system. Outlet line from these heaters you can see behind both rudder pedals and they are here to additionally increase temperature in this area. We have also other type of the food warmers which are based only on electric power but this system you will see a little bit later in the video. Okay I'm ready for the test so I'm gonna need APU bleed and uh, both packs which will soon get uh, pressure. We reach uh, ambient temperature, which should be between 20 and 28 degrees. Uh, so, and uh, all outlets are giving almost the same temperature, which basically corresponding with the selected temperature. Now we need to set temperature selector to uh, hot which uh, should give us temperature in the cockpit between 28 uh, to 32 degrees and then we're gonna perform the test on the food warmer outlet I reach uh, required temperature in the cockpit which is uh, between uh, 28 to 32 degrees so now I can uh, switch on uh, First officer warmer to low, and uh, this settings uh, should give us uh, between 37 to 47 degrees. And I already feel warmer air coming out of there, so I'll give you a light so you can see as well. That is our outlet. Is still raising, but we need to wait a bit. See that it's now 31, 32, it's going up. Oh, I was able to get uh, 38.7, which is exactly in the limit. And now we can go to mode high which should give us temperature in between 50 to 60 degrees which is quite hot and I'm already a bit sweating here so hopefully we'll reach it as soon as possible and then I need to move to the captain side so let's measure it okay this is uh, high on first officer side as you can see it's in limit and it's getting really hot here. Let's quickly perform the captain side. Now let's test the captain side. Low. And let's wait for result. 
but of course need to give it some time but you see it's already 36 37 yep we'll see in a few minutes we we reach 37.5 and 6 that's in the limit now let's set it to high yeah and hot yeah 50.4 let's pass the test good let's set it to off position so as you can see both sides pass the test and we can switch everything off I moved to a bit uh, older plane where I want to show you different type of the food warmers. Here you can find them uh, inside of uh, this metallic plates under the uh, pilot's feet and you operate them here on the console next to the displays you have only on and off function there is no uh, low and uh, high mode like on the previous one and just to give you uh, an idea how much is it on this one is around 30 degrees and on the first officer side I don't switch it on and those have 16 degrees so as you can see there is a huge difference and uh, let's take a look how it actually works you have four independent units one two and behind the first officer we have a same one and two so we have uh, four independent units and of course these are operated with uh, switch on the captain side and a first officer side is operated from his side uh, and of course it's supplied by 115 volt AC okay that's that's all about this food warmers and let's go back to previous one you see the difference uh, normal temperature there can go very low but uh, with this kind of equipment oh you can have a nice flight even when you are crew and the next time I will show you uh, food warmer for our flying attendants where it is and how it works and um, in footage I will also show you where the this warmer is because I can't really reach it it's uh, here behind this wall so I'll show you some uh, pictures I'll put it here in the footage well that's all what I want to show you guys today uh, my name is Tomasz this was a comment with Zetor and I'll see you next one bye